When someone asks you to give a presentation, what's the, what's the first thought that comes through your mind? And, no, a better question is, what's the first feeling that hits you in your gut when you know that you have to give a presentation? You know as well as I do, they say the number one fear is the fear of public speaking. Well, how do you, how do you overcome that? Because all the techniques in the world won't help you to speak up or to deliver a great presentation if, if you don't have the, the inside part right. So there's a question that you have to ask yourself before you deliver a presentation, and that is, what is the most important thing to you right now? What is it that matters the most to you? If you don't believe in your heart that what you have to say is important, there's no technique or strategy in the world that can help you to deliver your message in a way that's powerful and compelling. I mean, you, you might be able to change, change your diction or change the way that you stand or change some of your gestures, but that's, that's sort of like putting on a, a costume or a mask, isn't it? Really being authentic starts with how you feel about what it is that you're going to say. I'm sorry means I wish I could make it better, doesn't it? And if you find yourself in your presentations apologizing either by, by lowering the tone of your voice or by feeling that what you have to say is not as important as what others have to say or any of those thoughts that, that hold you back, you really have to stop and ask yourself, what's most important to you right now? If it is that you defer and that you, you remain quiet when really the moment calls for you to speak up, You've got to understand that apologizing, either literally or in, in the way that you present yourself, is really saying, I wish I could make it better. So why don't you make it better? What is it about your presentation and your story that is about improvement, a challenge to the status quo in some way, some form or fashion? What is it that, that could make it better? And then here's the motivational strategy that will transform your presentation. Allow that thought to enter your mind. The thought is, what is it that you have to say that could make it better, whatever it might be? And then there's no motivational jujitsu or visualization technique or any kind of three-step process that you need to engage in. All you need to do is allow the thought to occur to you that what you have to say is what could make it better. If you allow that thought to come into your head and go with it, not deny it. Oh, what I have to say can't be important. I can't believe that I can't engage with it. What happens if you do? What happens if that thought comes into your head and you walk with it a little ways? You think about it a little bit more and you ask yourself this question, what would change for you in your next presentation? if what you had to say really could make it better. There's no apology needed for that message. And when it comes time to tell your story, the story that you tell yourself, as well as the story that you tell to others, you don't need some motivational technique. You don't need a three-step process. You need to simply allow the thoughts that are already percolating in the back of your brain to come to life. And they can bring your story to life as well. That's the secret of giving a great presentation. It starts with the story you tell yourself. My name is Chris Westfall, and thanks so much for watching this video.